Hello friends, today we will learn how to burst the report using Oracle Fusion VIP report. So bursting using VIP report we will do today. So for this we will take one requirement scenario. So if any ch name changes like first name or last name got changed in a single day, then those details needs to send to the employee at end of the day. So whatever changes happen in single day, those details needs to change, uh, needs to send to respective employees at end of the day. So it is just a scheduled trigger, scheduled program. So for this, we'll require the tables like per or PFLF and per person names to check the first name or last name, whatever changes happen based on the last update date. So let's build report for this scenario. So open the application and navigation to open the report is tools. Then report and analytics, click on the report and analytics. Click on the browse. Once you click on the browse, our page will appear. To build a report, click on new. Then click on data model. So select the data set. Data set is SQL query. Give the appropriate name to the new data set. And choose the data source from yellow E and build your SQL query. So as we discussed, we required the two tables for all people F and for person names CF. So we'll write the query for these two tables. So we'll join these two tables using person ID column. So we'll join this table using person ID. Then both are the date track tables. And one more join we required based on the name type should be the global and as I said both are the date track tables so we have to add these conditions at trunk of this date between effective start date and end date for both the tables so we'll add these conditions to get latest data from both the tables and our scenario is whatever changes happen in a single day will require the those details right whatever changes happen in a single day those details we required for this to filter these we'll use last update date column from the per person names here so we'll add that condition to get single day transactions or changes happen on the name so we'll use trunk of last update date of per person names here between trunk of sys date minus one and trunk of sys date. So whatever the transactions happen from today from yesterday to today, those will be tracked using this query and those details needs to be sent to respective employees based based on the data. So for this we'll use columns as per person, person name in first name last name and last update date so we'll define those columns in our SQL query
once your query is done then click on the ok and ch we'll check the data so here you can see there are two different employees whose names got changed in one day okay so we'll bust this for program to click on the bursting then add then give the appropriate name then select the type and choose the data source from yellowy then here two main functionalities are there split by and deliver by split by means on which basis you want to split this particular output so we'll select the person name so we want to split this output on the basis of person name and deliver by to whom you want to deliver this output so here we are selecting the same person name you can choose different as well depending on your requirement so this is the two main concepts split by and deliver by now we'll develop the sql query so sql query is in specific format like these are the columns we required to give as a parameter to the sql query so first is the key which is nothing but split by key then next is the template which is nothing but the report name then third one is the language or then output format delivery channel then parameter one is the email address two then parameter two is the cc then parameter three is the from parameter four is the subject of the email parameter five is the message body parameter six is the boolean for attachment is there any attachment or not then parameter seven is reply to and parameter eight is bcc so here we will use seven parameters so we will take these details first we will copy that our sql query which we have used in the data set same query we will use to split by and deliver by so we will give those parameters so here basically expected output should be the split depending on the person number and deliver it to the person number but here as in uh, requirement in busting uh, sql we are giving same email address so all the these output will be delivered on the same email address so here we will get number of uh, whatever the number of records will uh, written by the query will get number of emails on the same so here we will get two records so we will get two mails from this report so we will save this data model in my folders give the appropriate name to the data model once you save the data model then we will generate one sample data to build a report based on those sample data so we'll generate the sample data now we'll build a report based on this data model so click on the create report and we'll build report using the report editor if, if you want to build rtf template you can build the rtf template as well so click on the next layout should be the table format then choose whatever columns you want in the report output or report layout so here we have taken three columns first name last name and person number so click on the finish and save the report name as we discussed report name should be the whatever given in our rebusting query that should be the same here then only it will work fine so click give the appropriate name and click on ok so it will load it will populate the data on the report so here you will get three results so you will get three mails with using split by from person name 
and you will get three mails using this bursting query. So how to burst this particular report? So click on the more, go to the schedule, click on the schedule, then in output you will see on which format you will get the output in PDF format. Then in schedule here you can run now or you can schedule that particular program. If you want to get notification on email address based on a completed warning, you can give the email address. In diagnostic, email, uh, enable the data engine and the report process diagnostic and give the appropriate report job name and submit this report job. So once it is submitted successfully, again click on the return to check whether this job is successful run or not so go to the history click on search here you will find test 1 is successfully completed so now we'll check the mail you can see the report name is bursting underscore report So we'll check the mail, click on the refresh, but no mails it delivered. So we'll the expected output is three mails with the different different format. But mails didn't receive it because we have to enable one more option in report level. So click on the edit or the report, then go to the properties click on the properties button here one more option is there enable bursting so check that enable bursting to get this work fine so save that particular report output our report then go to the catalog and again this run this particular report using schedule you can run this output format is in PDF schedule as soon as possible if you want to give the notification you can give enable the diagnostics submit the program give the appropriate report job name click on the ok job has been submitted successfully then we'll check the history so click on the return go to the more and history you can see here our mail test report job has been still in waiting so it's running so it's successfully completed so we'll deliver or we'll get the three mails as per our report so each output has their person number like whatever the four seven seven two three and four and the first name and last name so we'll check the mail address or oh, for uh, mail whether we delivered the three mails or not here you can see we'll get the three mails having the respective details so we'll open one by one and check the output here we'll get one output as person number respective person number we'll check another one it has another in person number it means the split functionality works fine and delivery also works fine but in a bursting query we have given the same mail address that's the reason we'll get all these three uh, output on the same mail if you want to deliver in, uh, to different different employees uh, employer mail then you can choose the different mail address as per your requirement so these mails will be delivered to them based on split by and deliver by functionality so in this way you can burst your report and uh, using the BIP report so likewise you can build the bursting BIP report thank you